So, first day of week 21. I don't know if I explained this last week, but we came up to Lakes of the Clouds Hut, uh, hoping to get dungeon spots, which is like this weird little room under here, or oh, the breeze, or um, work first day. Um, we were too early for work first day, and there was only one dungeon spot left, but they have three bunks, so Neo, New Shoes, and I all got bunks, which means we got dinner, we got breakfast, we were paying guests, so we got treated good, and we ate well. Wow, the view. It's so nice. Uh, the weather was not good yesterday, like 85 mile per hour winds. That's where we're going. Washington. Um, and so today we're going up and over. Weather should be much nicer in terms of like wind and clouds. I'm wearing rain pants because it's kind of chilly and my shirt is soaked from yesterday because I made the mistake of hiking in my rain jacket. So I'm just sweat drenched. It's gross. Um, but I'm probably going to hike in this sweater too. It's only a mile. And then we're on Mount Washington, which feels like such a milestone. So really jazzed about it. We are starting the 1.1 mile ascent. You can almost sort of see the top. See some little towers. Mount Washington. Oh, I feel refreshed. A little chilly, but refreshed. Good shot right there. So spooky. I've been up on top of Mount Washington twice, admittedly never by hiking, and I have never seen no people here. So spooky. Usually there's a super long ass line at the sign here, and there's no one. Just me and new shoes. So apparently, on Mount Washington, they have a post office. So I bought some post postcards, bought some postage, and now I'm gonna go stick it in a mailbox. down off Mount Washington, which now of course the, the sun is shining and there's not a lot of clouds up there now that I've left, but look at this. That's where I'm going right now over, over all that. It's so beautiful though. Very Lord of the Rings. There's the Madison Hut. And then there's also Madison, which you have to climb after the Madison hut. It looks like a, uh, a little lake of the clouds. I am on top of Madison, the last of the uh, presidentials. The rest are back there in the clouds. It's been real, but it's been painful. It's been pretty rocky, which is very hard on the joints. Um, and we have a pretty brutal 2.5 mile ascent rocks coming up to get to camp. So I'm gonna take it really slow. It'll probably take me like an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, then we're at camp. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. On the road again. Woke up early this morning to get to the Pink and Notch Visitor Center for all you can eat breakfast and I certainly ate all I could and then some and then uh yeah the goal for the day originally was to get to the Carter Notch hut and then Gumby was like oh I think oh wow that's really pretty over there that's so pretty um Gumby was like I think I might go to Imp shelter and Neo's was like oh well, I'm definitely going to Carter I don't like being split up from the gang, so I don't know what to do. And also, it's supposed to be really, really hard this next couple, this next 20 or so miles. So, 
I don't know. I'll get to Carter Notch, see how I feel. And if I can go further, I will, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's supposed to be a hard day. So... Mount Washington. You can see the top. Those lucky people up there. Meanwhile, me. I'm very sweaty over here. And just gotta keep keep going up. Look at this. When you see the wood stairs and the whites, you know you're in trouble. So I'm coming off a quick late lunch at the Carter Notch Hut, um, I decided I'm going to move on to Imp Shelter, which is an additional 7.2 miles away after I've already walked 11-ish, which like 18 miles, you say. Professor, you've done 18 miles before by lunch. Well, not by lunch, but like by two. And to that I say yes, but, uh, that was not in the White Mountains, and I still have two more 4,000 footers to accomplish and some steep looking downhills, which are my kryptonite downhill. I don't love it. Uphill, no problem. Um, so I'm a little nervous, a little anxious about how late I may be pulling into camp and also like, <laughs> like 12 people just left before me to go to the same place. So, hope to get a shelter spot, but also it behooves me to do the extra mileage today, because then I can get into town a little earlier tomorrow, and ideally avoid the bad weather that's coming. So, wish me luck. That's Maine over there. So many bugs. I gotta make this fast. Heading into town, resupply, laundry, shower. I'm standing at 894.3, ah! which means, oh gosh, that the next step I take means I have less than 300 miles till Katahdin. I am in Gorham, New Hampshire. Uh, we got a ride here because New Shoes made friends with a caretaker from one of the, uh, or two of the campsites we stayed at. And on her off day, she was very kind in offering to come give us a ride. And then there's like 10 other hikers who are around us. So she's giving them rides too. Shout out to Trix. She's amazing. And hopefully we'll see her later. But I'm now walking to a coffee shop where I'm hoping they maybe have some food I can eat for lunch because Gumby and New Shoes are going to McDonald's, but I think I will literally poop my pants if I eat at McDonald's. So, hoping this cafe has some food. We made it to our hotel, we got lunch, and then we were hoping to do laundry, but someone's stuff is occupying the laundry machines. So now, while we wait for the laundry to be done, we're gonna go to the pool because I found a hotel with a pool and it has a hot tub. So we're just gonna walk over and sit in our underwear in the pool. Dirty, but don't tell anyone. Pool time! New shoes is too afraid to go in because he's cold. <laughs> mm -hmm, you look like the girl from the ring. <laughs> New shoes is YouTubing, so I guess I should be YouTubing too. It's 10.20 and we're starting our day. We're only 10 miles, so hopefully not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I have transformed everyone into blueberry fiends. Oh, that's New Shoes, but like sorry New Shoes. Because I'm listening to Beyonce, so. We did it. 
That says 1900. So I'm about whoop, three miles into my day, and uh, whoop, whoop, gotta avoid the mud pit. And uh, realize I hadn't talked much in this week's video clips thus far. Um, it's been a big week. Finished out the whites, which were very uh, physically and mentally challenging, and. Uh, hit 1900 miles yesterday. Today we're gonna hit Maine. Tomorrow's the Mahusik Notch, which I'll talk more about tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just cause we're out of the whites doesn't mean it's not hard anymore. And my number one through hiker pet peeve is people telling me, oh, you're so close. And it's funny cause we all feel this way. It's like, sure, I have less than 300 miles. But have you ever hiked 300 miles consecutively before over like hard, rocky terrain with a 30 pound backpack on? Because if you haven't, then uh, 300 miles doesn't feel very close at all. So yeah, I hate when people say that to me. Oh, you're so close. Shut it. I still have so much left. <laughs> mountains from up here. Carter, Mariah. Mount Washington is in that cloud somewhere. All those that I don't know. And all those that I don't know. <laughs> So we're climbing up some steep rocks and I was just saying to Gumby, you know, they could use some really, they could really use some rebar handholds or something. And he says, oh, what were you just saying? Uh, here, we, hold on, they could see you. Here we have it. The rebar handholds I requested, they just appeared. <laughs> this trail is Mahusik Notch. Okay, so we are about to start Mahusik Notch, which I said, <laughs> very opposite energies on the Mahusik Notch, which I said was going to be tomorrow, but it's actually today. Neo, would you like to tell us what the Mahusik Notch is? It's a lot of <laughs> steep up and a lot of rocks and a lot of climbing. The yeah. Mahusik arm is the Oh. Arm. The notch is the, the rocky bit. Well, it's rocky. <laughs> We'll send you some pics. <laughs> we are only a little bit into the notch, maybe 0.01 miles, and we've already seen a ton of blood. Someone boy, is just bleeding along the trail, and the only person we know in front of us is Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, you got me a little bad. Gumby would not fit in here, but this wasn't terrible, actually. Okay, drop the packs through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a video. <laughs> Hello. We made it through the notch. At 3.50 we ended. As a reminder, we started at 2.38. I did not take many videos because it was very challenging. And if you will recall National Treasure, it was similar to that. Except I was not Nicolas Cage. I was Riley. AKA I was not very capable. But we did it. Ah. Stick. We're doing the thing that everyone says not to do. We are ending our day climbing up the Mahusik arm. After 
having just gone down the Mahoosic Notch. New shoes is already up there. Oh, that's lame. Anyway, big challenge today. How do you feel, Gumby? Tired. My bones hurt. <laughs> his bones hurt. He bonked his knee a bunch of times. Anyway, see you up there. So I'm on top of a uh, Speck Mountain, which is a 4,000 footer. It's a little blue blaze, but it has a fire tower. Um, but as you can see behind me, it's socked in, but it's so windy. There's a little bit of blue sky above that I think that if I wait like a half hour or so, I could get some views. And we're only going 10 miles today, and I've already done like two of them, so not in a rush. So it's almost noon, oh, Jesus. and I've been sitting in this parking lot for almost two hours now, and uh, we'll get started soon, but we only have six miles left, so it's not really like, not really wanting to rush, because then I'll just sit somewhere else for a long time, so I'd rather break up my, my sitting. So yeah, bald paint. Bald paint next. Should be pretty nice. So I made it to the top of the first mountain. And now, or I guess, well, this is the second mountain. And that is the uh, third I'll have to climb today. couple miles into my day. It's 7.45 about. Not moving very quickly today and I think that's gonna be the speed for the rest of the trip. But we have 14 and a half miles today and then we get picked up by a shuttle that brings us to our resupply <clears throat> and to the hostel we're gonna be staying at where we will have our zero day and they will feed us food. And I'm very much looking forward to that because it's been like two weeks, I think, since we had our zero day with Neo's parents. So, yeah, ready for a break. <sighs> Can you see? Oh my gosh. My, like, arms keep dripping onto my legs and I'm very confused where the water's coming from. But wow, I'm so tired. I think... Part of it is because we stretched like three days of food into four days of food and or four and a half days of food and I really didn't have enough food to do that. I already had to like, another hiker had given me an extra dinner they had, which was very nice of them. At this last shelter where I had lunch break, I was feeling like kind of dizzy so another hiker gave me some like extra bars she had which was very nice of all of them but it's a hot day and this part is very challenging and I definitely haven't been eating enough the last couple days so I'm struggling I don't want to be here <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to the road everyone's laying but one person has already said they don't want to be in the tube, so I'm not going to show everyone laying. And now we're just waiting for our ride. And that's all. Cheers. We just ordered food and we literally could not eat it fast enough. New Shoes is devouring his fries. <laughs> Yeah. 